why TBC what's the deal so I was reading an interesting article on BoxingScene.com. I will leave the article in the description like always um, Arthur Spilka says that Mike Malo is a bigger puncher than Deontay Wilder all right I'm gonna read some quotes here now he was he was doing telecast he was ringside of the uh, Mike Malo versus Christoph um, Zemnock the upset that happened yesterday Zemnock has his undefeated record taken away from Mike Malo uh, first round shocker you know so Malo goes on to say he says uh, or not Malo I'm sorry but Spilka goes on to say Wilder knocked me out and Malo did not but Wilder caught me purely with a counter punch as I was coming in but if I had to say who hits harder who has stronger punches Malo left a much greater impression on me all right um how do I feel about that? I mean, he's in there with the guys, you know what I mean? So I can't say what he felt or what he didn't feel in the ring as far as getting hit by both of these guys. Now, some of you may just take a step back and say, oh, you know, Deontay Wilder by far hits harder than Mike Malo. Um, it's up for debate. I've never got punched, you know what I'm saying, by Mike Malo nor uh, Deontay Wilder. So that's up for debate. But one thing about the Deontay Wilder and Spilka fight, though, before he got caught and got knocked out, um, there was a few times in that fight where Wilder was hitting him and Spilka was like, you know, kind of smiling at Deontay Wilder, you know, kind of mocking him a little bit. Now, you can say it was because he got buzzed, you know, but usually when you let Deontay Wilder clip you, guys aren't smiling at him and wanting more. You know what I mean? They're not really doing that. Now, again, I know in boxing when guys get hit with good shots, they smile and say, you know, it didn't hurt me, it didn't hurt me, you know, but usually guys aren't. The mo for the most part, aren't smiling after they get hit by Deontay Wilder. So Spilk is a tough guy, and obviously he did get knocked out. Now, him and Malo went back and forth. Both of their fights are on YouTube. I would advise you, if you haven't seen both of their fights, I can watch Malo versus Spilka about 100 times if they were to fight. There's multiple knockdowns, bloody, both fights. You know what I'm saying? So with Mike Malo, though, you know, being that he's been in there with Spilka twice, um, Andrew Galata, Another Polish fighter, uh, then he just beat Zemnok last night. So I want to see Izuagano get in there with him. You know, now we know that Zemnok and Spilka. I still think that's a good fight. They both come off knockout losses. They should get in there. They had an altercation. Um, that's on YouTube too. You can type in Spilka versus Zemnok um, fight or altercation, whatever. All I know is I was watching a uh, interview. This had to be like 2013. I'm watching an interview of. Um, who are they interviewing? They're interviewing Andrew Galata. And then behind him, you could see Spilka was getting interviewed by another, you know, media member. And then Zimnock, they came together somehow and then they just got into it. And Spilka just headbutts him there face to face. And boom, he just headbutts him in his face. And they're throwing blows. It wasn't, a you know, they're grabbing each other's shirts. I mean, they were throwing combinations. They were fighting each other. And it was pretty crazy. So... I still like to see Spilka and Zimnock still fight. I mean, just because, you know, Spilka's a fighter. Whether he gets knocked out or not, he's going to come back and fight shit. Jennings stopped him, you know, and he's been down before against Malo, you know. So, Zimnock, let's see how he reacts from the fight. Now, Zimnock and his team, they were talking about getting a rematch with Malo. So, I don't know if Malo's going to fight him again, you know. But I like to see Malo give another, you know, prospect level type guy a shot. And that's Izuagano. He fought. Malo fought Spilka when he was 12 and 0. So he gave him a he fought him when he was 12 and 0. I'm not gonna say he gave him a shot, but you know what I mean. He fought him when he was 12 and 0. And Malo makes for a tough fight. Even Jamil McClain, he made for a tough fight with that. Even if you're you're significantly uh taller than Malo and way more, he will make it for a tough fight for the most part. Um, so Spilka Zimnock, you know, just the fact that um the history is there between the two, but Zimnock. You know, he did just get knocked out, so I'm not sure. But shit, they want him in there with Malo again, and he's the guy that knocked him out. You know what I mean? But if Malo chooses to go a different route, I want to see Izuaganu, man. I really want to see him test it now and see him get a fight and uh, see what he can do. You know, because, he, you know, he is a prospect, but I think Malo will be a good test. You know, he doesn't he doesn't have a, a crazy reach advantage, Malo, or he's not, you know, very tall or the strongest guy, but he is tough as shit, and he will come to fight. And he has a good left hook and he has a good right hand. You know what I mean? If you stand there and slug with him and give him an opportunity, um, he can probably turn your lights out. You know, but 
as far as Art Spilka, I mean, saying that Milo hits harder than Deontay Wilder, I mean, he's been in there with the man. Now, from the eye test, it looks to me like Deontay Wilder probably has more concussive power. You know, but then again, you know, that's just an, an outsider's observation. Spilka's been in there with him, so um, I don't know, you know. It's his opinion, shit. He's been there with both the guys. But just getting this out there, man, just talking about these Polish heavyweights, man. YTBC, I'm out.